Another big story we are following. More than a thousand people are headed home after marching from the American Legion Mall to the Indiana State House in an effort to send a message to the White House, all part of the 2018 Women's March. People all over the world marching in their respective cities today. RTV6's Graham Hunter live at the State House tonight with what these demonstrators are demanding from the White House. Hey, Graham. Matt, hundreds of women took to the streets of downtown Indianapolis, marching from the American Legion Mall through Monument Circle and ending up right here at the steps of the State House, carrying with them signs of support for comprehensive legislation to protect dreamers, those kids who came to this country as undocumented immigrants, and with the primary message of encouraging women to get out and vote in greater numbers during future elections. The nationwide event is intended as a kickoff of a national voter registration tour with a focus on putting more women and progressive candidates into elected office. This all coming on the one year anniversary of President Donald Trump's inauguration and last year's Women's March, which featured millions of people across the nation in what is considered the largest protest in U.S. history. women coming together on the anniversary of the Women's March of 2017 because it's important that we stay motivated and we stay activated and making sure that our government is doing the things that it's supposed to do. I think you just got to get out there and message everyone and talk to everybody. It's not just women, it's men and it's minorities, it's everybody. I don't think this is just the Women's March, I think this is everyone's march. On social media, today's event utilized the hashtag power to the polls. One of the key points of emphasis for organizers was that this was not a protest against President Trump, but was instead intended to shine a light on women's issues. Reporting live from the State House, Graham Hunter, RTV6.